you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? The motivation behind Scorpio was 4K gaming, um, six teraflops. You know, some developers will will take advantage of that six teraflops in different ways, but that was really the design point for Project Scorpio and the reaction of the dev community and, frankly, the the fans here at the uh, at E3 has been fantastic. That's actually something that I was curious about when you know, you talk about 4K being the emphasis of that thing. But will there be any mandate coming out of Microsoft toward developers saying like you guys should really focus on 4K here? Or is it like is it carte blanche for them to to pursue that like if, extra if they want to just have a a 1K frame buffer and then, you know, up res to 4K and, yeah, and take you advantage of use that power, power in a different way. In other ways, yeah. We will uh, we'll absolutely be open to that. I mean, mm -hmm. we're going to talk more specifics of a Project Scorpio, so we'll get into more of the details. But, you know, I, I don't I think creative freedom and how you want to use the power of the box is mm -hmm. something that I always support. I mean, I came from first party, as you guys mm -hmm. know. So uh, putting the right tools in the hands of the creators, uh, the best creators is, is our job uh, as the platform. Okay, so just for a little clarification on the video I made yesterday about the PlayStation Neo slaughtering the Xbox Scorpio. Originally, Phil Spencer came out and said that if you don't have a 4K television, then you will not see any benefit of the Scorpio. Well, now he has kind of gone more in-depth about it and talked about how the Scorpio is meant to target a 4K render, but that developers are free to do so whatever they want with the console and the hardware. Meaning that if they want to go from a 4K, maybe 30 frames per second, high settings or to a 4k 60 frames per second low settings or even a 1080p 60 frames per second max settings they have the freedom to do whatever they choose and i find that to be good because options and choice and the ability to buy this console and not necessarily have to be forced into using a 4k tv is actually a good thing the only problem i do have with it is again what are we getting what are we choosing? Do we even get a choice? Do we get a choice between setup, settings, and assets? Or is it going to be the developer's decision to control all of that? And that is the one thing I don't like about consoles and probably why I will never buy a console again. When I buy hardware, I want to do with it what I want to do. I want to have the choice. I want to make the decision. I want to make the changes. Here, it's probably going to be whatever the developer wants. I doubt the developer is going to give you the choice and the freedoms to change from 4K 60, 4K 30, 1080p 60, different kinds of assets, different kinds of settings, whatever. But the bottom line is though, this does bode well for the Scorpio in my opinion. I feel like Phil is doing a lot of good things with the Xbox and Microsoft and Windows, all of that and the above, but I will talk about that in another video.